Hello Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be doing your monthly love reading. Uh, I'd like to do these more than once a month, but <laughs> still working out the details. So we'll check in with the energies of your person, your energy, what you can expect uh, in the near future, and then some clarifying cards. We'll finish it off with a pull from one of the Oracle decks, which ever, ever strikes my fancy, really. I'll give you any message from guides, spirits, or guardians. And uh, that's about it. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. Dear gods, guardians, and guides, please offer the Sagittarius the wisdom that they need to hear and the cards that they need to see and the message that they need to receive at this time. May the true sight be in me. May the true speech be mine. May everything that I speak come straight from the divine. Thank you so much. Can I get three cards for the saddest person? First card out is the sun card. The next, the seven of cups. And the last, the chariot. That's on their side. On your side is the five of wands, the page of swords, and the three of swords oof uh, the eight of cups the three of spears and this the eight of swords yikes what it looks like here is that your person showing up as the sun they may be a leo but i don't like to speculate because we are reading for the collective however it seems to be that your person likes to be the center of attention that means in in this regard it means that they're drawing eyes from a lot of people because we see the seven of cups is here this person may be keeping their options open when it comes to love but more than that this may be someone who is in the limelight and keeping their options open in regards to their next moves and they're not including you in their plans so this may be someone who is thinking on a much larger scale and willing to put your relationship on the back burner or to the side or even uh, to end the relationship as they are growing into their sun self. Keeping your options open doesn't always mean that you're looking for other romantic partners. Sometimes it can mean that you are keeping your options open in life. Uh, and that seems to be happen, happening very rapidly or much faster than, than you want it to happen. You have a true hope and a desire that the choice that they make includes you in their forward movement. However, on your side, your energy is full of conflict. I get the five of uh, spears out here, which is a card of arguing, fighting, conflict, and this may be external or internal. Now, what it looks like to me is this is an internal conflict. It's something that you're fighting saying or communicating, and you're also fighting against a potential heartbreak. You don't want to say that you're heartbroken or say that you want the commitment because generally that isn't your energy anyway. As the bachelor sign, you all tend to be non-committal. Um, but this person seems to have caught your eye in more ways than one. And you admitting or speaking your truth, you feel like that's going to bring you heartbreak. You feel like you saying what's in your true heart is going to cause them to rapidly end this situation with you. What I see here is the Eight of Cups. Now, this is more on your person side of them walking away, but I actually feel like this is a mutual energy where it's a mutual separation. Maybe you just stop investing in the situation. Your fear is that they will walk away. And what I feel out of this is though your person may be on the precipice because there's so much evolution taking place in, in their part, on their part that you will hurry up and end the situation before they can break your heart. So you're not going to walk away from me. I'm going to walk away from you first. That's a very Sagittarian thing to do. The Three of Spe Spears is here, which is taking a bold action. The Three of Spears, or the Three of Wands, however you want to... Um, 
read that is also about engaging in multiple connections. Some people read this as a third party, but it feels like this person, uh, their third party is actually themselves and everything that they have going for them. It's not, uh, oh, there's another woman in the picture or, you know, this feels very much like it's them being quite selfish in the connection. So here is uh, the Eight of Swords. This is you feeling trapped or bonded to this person and you don't actually know how to escape it other than walking away. You don't know how to escape the feeling that you're trapped or bonded with this person in a way that you can't control. That makes you a little bit more wild than you want to be or makes you want to act in a way that is more bold than you intend um, because you actually don't want to end the situation but I feel you moving towards an ending because you're so fearful that this person will end it first and that's a bold action that maybe you don't need to take but it feels like it's the only one for you that you can take it's almost like you feel like there's an end coming and you'd rather rip the band-aid off rather than to wait for them to break your heart. And it's the only action that you feel you have. Let me get some clarification here. Hmm. Your clarification for the five of wands. Like people, I don't make this shit up. <laughs> like my cards are on it. Your clarification for the five of wands is the five of wands. Okay, so uh, what I what I see you can expect here is this person. This the clarification for the sun in the upright is the sun in reverse. This is wild. So you're getting the negative aspects of your person, which may very well be a Leo, but it may very well just be someone who is like very much about themselves, and they're taking it to an extreme where you're getting the more narcissistic traits. Uh, and they're not even hiding it. They're not hiding that they're very much about themselves uh, for some reason. And this is not, I don't, I don't want, want to paint every partner in a negative light because it may just be that you're being put on the back burner for someone to complete school or to take care of family issues or to further their own career. And that's not necessarily a negative thing of someone seeking out more stability in their life. But it doesn't make you feel good, right? And, and I get that. Um, this person is making no, uh, no bones about it because they're coming up as the Queen of Swords, which the Queen of Swords is an excellent communicator, but the Queen of Swords is also someone who will cut it off, who is very straightforward about cutting it off. And they almost tell you every, they telegraph their movements in a way. It's like they tell you everything that's gonna happen and that they're going to do. And in this situation, I don't know why it feels this way, but it's almost like you are powerless to prevent the thing that you so desperately don't want to happen from happening. Because it's like they're telling you their movements every step of the way. And, no and as they tell you these things, it's almost like it sends you into even more of a conflict state. So if someone says to you, like, I'm, cr I'm a crazy person, and you're like, yeah, okay. And then they start acting like a crazy person, like they literally told you that they were a crazy person, and then they started behaving that way, and now you're in cl conflict about how crazy they're acting. Well, they told you they were gonna act crazy. So what's the problem? This is kind of the experience that you're having here. Um, now, some of this conflict is being created by you because you're leaving yourself out in the cold. You're desiring something more than this person can actually give to you in the moment because they're so hyper-focused on themselves. And 
it leaves you feeling like you don't actually have another fight with this person. So they, this may be a long-term ongoing situation where you have battled with this connection for quite some time and with the nine of wands in reverse, you're ready to give it up. This, this guy is like, you know, normally in the upright, it's like he's come this far, he's battled all these other, other wands, but he still has one wand left. In the reverse, and I, I do read reversals, I like them. Uh, in the reverse, he's kneeling down and all of those wands are going to fall and even the wand out of his hand is going to fall where it's like, you know what? I'm done. I have fallen on my sword for the last time. I have taken the back seat for the last time. You know, I've been left out in the cold for the last time. This Two of Pentacles is here, this Page of Cups, this Ace of Pentacles, and this Knight of Cups. Now, I do see this person trying to um, juggle you as you're walking away. And what the juggling means is like, okay, I'm going to make time for you now. I'll try to make time for you. I'll try to like uh, come forward in your life and really be there in the ways that you need me to. But it is a juggling because they are still committed to this previous situation and it's not a previous connection it doesn't feel like a romantic connection it feels like an investment in themselves uh so they're still deeply committed to that so what they offer is the page of cups which is a small offer of love it's saying like i'll try harder and that is true for a while with the ace of pentacles where they do try to ground and be more present for you, but they come in as the Knight of Cups in reverse at the end, which tells me that that cup of love or that, that offer that starts out as the page, they cannot give you anything more. And in fact, they can't even give you that page offer. So it's kind of like a reneging on whatever offer is made. <sighs> that's a heavy, that's a heavy thing. I am sorry. So let's give you the Lemurian deck here. What do my Sagittarius need to see or hear right now in regards to this situation? Radical expansion comes out and freedom comes out. I love that freedom is um, the dragonfly because the dragonfly can often represent transformation um, and they are very skilled hunters if you watch them out in the wild. But this card asks you to evaluate are you able to expand holding on? Because that is something that Sagittarius does so well. It's like expansion, creation, expansion, creation. That is 100% what they love to do. That's the energy they love to be in. Are you able to expand and create while still holding on to this situation that may no longer serve you? Are you able to have the freedom that you are looking for? And it doesn't look like you have the freedom of movement based on you believing that you only have one card to play, that you only have one play to make here. What it shows, what it asks is, how much would you get out of letting go and allowing this person to rise and evolve in the ways that they need to rise and evolve? Because they are in a state of expansion. And that doesn't mean that this relationship has to end, but it may mean that it needs to be on hold for a moment. And some of you might ask, well, does this person love me? 
this does not feel like it's about a lack of love Sagittarius so that being said I think that's a question that you don't have to ask this is not about a lack of love this is about time divine timing you know this is very connected to divine timing The snake goddess of Crete. She is the card of energy. She asks us to allow your energetic dance or trance to inspire you to practice detachment. And that will help you. So this is very funny because that's literally what we've been talking about this whole time. It's really like allowing yourself to detach from the situation, which is 100% what you guys are really good at. I mean, you know, Aquarians are the kings and queens of it, but allow yourself to detach from this situation and this outcome. And you will find that this is a momentary pause in this connection versus a total tower moment in this connection but if you push uh, what you'll find is that everything falls apart even yourself because you don't as you're holding on so tightly to this connection you don't allow yourself to expand so that feels like all i have for you right now um sagittarius thank you so much for stopping by let's you know we'll check in the month is almost over, but I'll try to get this done one more time before we end out the month. Um, and I will get your 2021 uh, Ascension readings done, hopefully before 2021. We shall see. Thank you so much for stopping by, Sagittarius, and be blessed.